Welcome back, YouTube. It's The Crow Show, home of the smoothest voice on Twitch. In today's video, we have to revisit the video I just made a couple of days ago where I talked about Carol and the hashtag free Carol movement, where it appeared that Carol was banned excessively, uh, but we weren't equipped with all of the information. And it turns out the ban was justified by behavior. But if you're just learning about this, I'll give you a quick recap. Oh, you're here. I'm not going to bodyblock you in the corner until the server dies. Do you understand this? I'm going to play Mario for a literal hour. Fuck you. So Carol made it clear what their plan was to do was just to let them stay there for an hour <laughs> while the server dies. Because that after an hour, no matter what happens, the server dies, the game crashes, and everybody's out. The thing is, though, you see there's David King in the game, and David finally got all the generators fixed, and then opened the exit gate and left, leaving Ada there not being able to do anything because the spirit's there body blocking. Now you can see the timer going down, Ada eventually dies, and, you know, Carol's off. I believe they said they're cleaning. <laughs> so, and they posted this on Twitter and it went pretty viral. It got a lot of views. So there you have it. You're mostly caught up there. Carol body blocked that person, posted the footage to Twitter and it got hundreds of thousands of views. And of course it was a bit of a self report. So behavior stepped in, banned Carol for two weeks initially and then about a day later, the ban was changed to a permanent ban. As we can see in their second tweet, it says, this is literally my first offense, by the way, two weeks into a perma in the space of half a day for holding someone hostage. Who held me hostage first, LMAO? As we can see the original post there, 1.2 million views. Now, if we look at this series of tweets here, we have people kind of being like, whoa, that seems pretty excessive. And Carol maintains, no, I never cheated. This was my first ban. Unfortunately, that isn't the truth. Carol lied to the Dead by Daylight community. Let's review some tweets I found from 2023. This person chimed in saying, this you? It's me, yes, how did you know? Profile picture. OMG, that's so long ago. I'm banned on that account now. What did you do? Save inject, LOL. I CBA to restart from console. I had to look that up. CBA stands for can't be arsed. And then after that, this person was asking, how many times have you been banned from DBD? And Carol responded, it was only a save inject. So in these tweets, Carol is straight up admitting to doing actions that can result in a permanent ban. Check this out. What actions will result in a permanent ban? If we look at the created progress modifying your save file, using any third party software or other methods to cheat your save file or any measure of progress contained within your save file. This includes using someone else's save file. Now, Carol did share the screenshot of the email that Behavior sent them saying, hello, thank you for reaching out to us. I'm Hank, a supervisor from DBD. I have reviewed the ban placed on this account and confirmed that the permanent ban has been placed correctly. Initially, the ban applied was for griefing for two weeks. However, upon further review, it was found that due to a previous account already being permanently banned, this account was banned permanently as well. This is in line with our rules and guidelines here. Now, Carol did respond as well, saying behavior have responded, saying they're not lifting the ban as the two weeks was justified. And the upping to a perma was due to me having a perma ban previously. Three years ago, I moved from PlayStation to PC and upon doing so, save injected 60 of each add-on. I knew I wanted to stream DVD, so it had to be a non-suspicious number. I still bought every DLC I wanted for perks and every outfit and didn't inject any shards for cosmetics. I have never actually cheated in this game. If we refer back to what actions will result in a permanent ban, this is cheating according to behavior. Cheated progress modifying your save file. Using any third party software or other methods to cheat your save file or any measure of progress contained within your save file. 
This includes using someone else's save file. And yes, it's true, there are people who have done far worse out there. There are, sadly, transphobic, homophobic people out there, uh, racists, people who use exploits and cheats. And that's where the conversation kind of turned for a while in the last couple of days. It's like, why are you taking this person down and not taking down the actual cheaters? Well, if you remember, uh, once upon a time back in the Epic Games Store, Dead by Daylight was free. So a bunch of people slash bots created a ton of free Dead by Daylight accounts. So I do believe cheaters get taken down, but it's just so easy for them to acquire another account that has everything they need so they can keep cheating and keep griefing people. I do want to return really quickly to these tweets that I also found from October of 2023. I can't see the original posts because the person deleted them, but I do see Carol's tweets. Their hardware ID banning off the bat now. I was talking about this to ISTG. It was you about my friend getting the same thing. See, that's why I'm confused because I still have my DBD account, I think. Even though I injected 10,000 mother-daughter rings on my old account. Now, if you're really injecting 10,000 of the most powerful add-ons in Dead by Daylight to your account... Yes, that is cheating, and it is disingenuous to hide that from the rest of the Dead by Daylight community. While there were people who, in good faith, thought that you were wrongfully banned, myself included. I felt bamboozled. I felt hurt. My feelings are hurt. Seriously, though, there were people spamming the Dead by Daylight account with hashtag free Carol. And I know it's a bit of a weird spot to be in. You know, you've got all of these people rallying for you. Uh, but at the same time, you're holding information back from them and actually lying to people, lying to mutuals about your ban history. And I think there's something kind of shady about that. It's It rubs me the wrong way. But you know what? Uh, Dead by Daylight, the community, will always have a forever shifting goalposts for what people can and can't do and if you look a certain way you can get away with a lot more because the double standard does not apply to you now before all of this got wrapped up before we heard the final note from behavior uh carol did mention how my income was largely from streaming dvd with that option now gone i'm going to be earning severely less so try to make ends meet. I'm going to be reopening my commission sheet, Lincoln replies. And I always want, no matter who it is, I want people in this space to succeed and find financial stability and financial happiness. I'm going to wish that for everybody, except for maybe people who are actually hateful. And I don't think Carol's actually hateful here. I think it's just bad circumstances, an unfortunate self-own. Um... But the fact that they lied to the community, that does rub me the wrong way. But you know what? I really do wish you the best moving forward. Maybe this will just be a lesson for people in the future. If you play stupid games, you'll win stupid prizes. And at the end of the day, Behavior did mention it's not a hardware ban. So Carol is going to be starting fresh and uh, right from the start. And no cheating this time. Yay, hooray. <laughs> so there you have it. That's the end of this story. Honestly, I, I thought in the first video, I thought it was a mistake. I, you know, I maybe I'm too gullible. Maybe the rest of the community is too gullible because Carol kept stating, this is my first offense. I've never been banned before. So to anybody who felt bamboozled by that, uh, by my video, I apologize for fueling that machine. And I just felt it was responsible for me to do a follow-up and just weigh in with my honest thoughts there are of course some other aspects of this story it did get kind of messy earlier today some drama with a major leaker subtweeting and subtweets going back and forth uh, i just don't care to get into that right now i don't want to become like a hundred percent dbd drama channel linking People can do that, people do that, but I just don't want that to be my content, if you know what I'm saying. So 
Anyway, I thought this was an interesting story. Wanted to offer some closure. I wish Carol all the best in the future. And uh, if you made it this far, you watched the whole video, thanks very much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and weigh in on the comments. What are your thoughts on this situation? I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.